Hello you guys. If you look at this puzzle, not fabby, this puzzle. It's made in jewels, so I will give you guys 5 seconds. If you find it, you will come in down right now. If you don't, stick with me. So anyone comes with a move? If you don't, let's try to solve it and see why this is even funny. Let's say if we bring e8 queen here, black has only one move and that is king g2. And now if we try to deliver queen to e4 checkmate, the problem is pawns are going down and just pawn will take the queen. So here there is a mate but not in 2, actually 3 with queen to e2 check, king will take the rook and now king d2 is a checkmate. Let's see the other possibilities. What if we do short castles? Will it lead to mate in 2? Let's see. Now king has only 3 moves. King e4, king e3 and king e2. But wherever it goes, the result is same. Let's say if it goes to king e2, now you will not bring the queen. The king will run away. You will play rook a to d1 and now king has only one move and it is to go to e3 and now if you bring the queen or rook doesn't matter it will be a checkmate but the problem is it's made in 3. Well the truth is if you try to solve this puzzle with the modern chess rules you will never be able to solve this puzzle. Your mother to solve this puzzle you have to go in 1972 when Tim Krabby made this puzzle. Tim Krabbe gives this solution to this puzzle. First he brings e8 rook and when king goes to g2 then he calls the fide. Hello, fide here. Hello, Tim Krabbe here. Yes Krabbe sir, how can I help you? I want to know the all rules of castling. Alright Krabby sir, there are 4 rules of castling, 4 rules of castling. Number 1, King and Rook must be untouched, unmoved, untouched, unmoved, check. Rule number 2, there must be a vacant space between them, vacant space between, check. Number 3, King must not be in check, not in check, check. And number 4, there must not be any piece attacking the square which will King go into, alright, all the rules are check. And then you will move 2 squares of a King and then put the Rook right next to it in single move. Yes. Done. Oh, hold on, hold on. I didn't broke any rules, so vertical castling is possible. And Tim Krabbe was right. After this puzzle in 1972, Fide changed the rule of castling and add the word rank. If the king and the rook are on the same rank, with this vertical castling is not possible now. So that's how one puzzle changed the rule of chess. So if you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the more updates.